So what is the Kiwi Indian experience and how has this changed over the well, last 150 years since the first Indians arrived in New Zealand? The latest work from Prize Theatre Company, Swabumi Borrowed Earth, merges theatre, puppetry, poetry and music to share this moving story. So to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe the director, Ahi Karuna Haran, and performer, Devya Hari Haran. Welcome to Yes! Thank you. Hey, Ahi, this sounds really impressive and so many things in there. What's it all about? Well, Swabumi is like an epic style. Um, it travels 150 years starting from 1810 when the first Indian arrived in New Zealand. He was a Bengali man who jumped ship, met a Maori woman and lived in Bay of Islands. So we thought it was a great starting point. And we travel all the way to the present day when um, the deportation of the young Indian foreign students and just looking at different moments and I guess uh, key um, instance where Indian migration has been in the forefront in New Zealand's mm -hmm. kind of evolution. Wow. Uh, okay, Divya, what does Swam Bami mean? So Bhumi is means homeland. Okay. So it's our homeland. So immigration is all about, you know, moving from one homeland to another homeland. And that's what I love about Subumi. Being an Indian migrant myself, it's been an educational experience almost. I had no idea that this Bengali man jumped ship in the <laughs> early 1800s because he fell in love with the Maori woman and just l learning the different intentions of why people decide to yeah. migrate. Mm. Well, 150 really years, that's a very long time, isn't it? I mean, how, do you, how did you find all this history out? So we just basically just um, jumped on the archives. We got people from Pukekohe and we got various different kind of whānau who just kind of fit stories in. But also our actors, because this whole entire work is devised, so they bring in information in. And so basically we just have a generating period where we put everything on the floor and then we just edit and cut and work around that. Oh, wow, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Divya, the show incorporates everything from what I understand, you know, acting and puppetry. What is your role specifically? So I play a journalist who actually wants to discover the history of Indian migration to New Zealand. So in that way, it's actually really interesting, my own personal discovery through the play and my character's discovery. And then as she discovers throughout the play, we see all these different decades and different characters. So yeah. Oh, that sounds so cool. Yeah. And you were talking cool. before when we started playing that music and we, when we came into to the um, story then, that you were looking for Kiwi music or Kiwi Island music. They go, oh, we should have that in the show. Yeah, What's yeah. that about? No, because I, I was just really interested in what are some quintessential iconic New Zealand songs. And I think while we kind of travelled through time, is looking at the songs that were really number one hits in our yeah. country's evolution. So we're looking at the evolution of New Zealand through an Indian perspective, but also just kind of touching base. Blue Smoke, Slice of Heaven, definitely those two. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In there now. I'll just hear that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when did you get here were you about 10 I think when you yes I was in New 10 when I got here so uh, um, and how has it been growing up in New Zealand it's 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 been great so I consider myself Kiwi, Kiwi yes mm -hmm. I would as well and like I said being part of prayer so I've been part of prayer since it started which was in 2005 and being part of Prayas actually has helped me stay in touch with my Indian roots because Prayas is all about bringing Indian stories to a New Zealand audience. So that's helped me kind of stay closer to my Indian roots, hence the Kiwi Indian in me. Mm. And Ahi, is it a story that, that has been told well enough? Well, you we know? haven't, I mean, I guess a lot of our kind of Indian stories have been very urban contemporary stories, but this really looks back, it's, mm. it looks at the legacies and it's nostalgia, because mm. it's looking at farmers from Pukekohe in the 1920s, the soldiers that went to fight in Gallipoli um, in the 70s, the kind of, uh, the Indian kind of women groups kind of emerging amongst the Maori Renaissance, and in the 90s when there was a massive surge of skilled migrants that came through. So just really looking back, that kind of idealising nostalgia. It's interesting, isn't it? Because we don't necessarily think of Indians coming to New Zealand back, back sort of in 1810 or whatever. Mm. We think of uh, the Chinese who came here for the gold mining, yeah. yep. but not the Indians. Yeah, and there was a fascinating story that we discovered that the first person to discover gold was actually an Indian man in Otago. But obviously, at that time, it was credited to an Australian man. So now they've got a statue for him in Otago. And so all That's these kind of information that we learn in the process of making the show. It's a history lesson that sounds fun, actually. Yep. It is entertaining. Really is. It's absolutely yeah. entertaining. There's music, dance, and all kind of amazingness. All of the things that Prayas always delivers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find a lot of cultural differences as well? Because we've got India is such a massive country, and so there's yeah. all these different regional differences in there. And our company of all actors also come from various different parts of India. So there's those kind of cultural differences in there. But also, it's, like I said, New Zealand was shifting so much. So the struggles that people had in different periods were much different. So like you know, hearing stories in the 70s where mm -hmm. women trying to cook, and we don't have any of the spices. We can only cook with salt and pepper. <laughs> right. How do yeah. I make a curry out of that? Ah. Yeah. And they're dreaming about you know Indian restaurants. And now you can just go and just grab a curry anywhere you like. Yeah, you know? absolutely can. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. It sounds 
great. Thank you guys so much for coming in. You should be awesome. You can see Sabumi Borrowed Earth at TAPAC until June the 4th. For ticket date details, I go to tapac.org.nz.